Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made any real videos that talk about information that people can use to help themselves. It's mostly because I've been so sick. Um, and tormented and tortured and it's very difficult watching myself die and, you know, try to be okay with it. Um, the reason I'm so crying right now is that I had to talk to somebody <laughs> um, is that this place we live, this room we live in, you know, where we exist in this tiny little room it's like 8 by 10 or something you know it's got a loft bed and everything we own is shoved in here and Petra did a really nice job trying to make it look pretty and nice and uh, this guy we rent from these Spanish people this wife and father and daughter they're all liars they're like scumbag liars you know, we asked them ten times before we moved in here. We would like to stay for more than a year, you know, at least a year. We'd move in and spend six hundred bucks to move everything and energy and all this shit. You know, we've moved ten, eleven, twelve times. I don't know in the past three years, like every couple of months for a while, every month for a while. It's just too much, and these people. They're all lying. Oh, we gotta get into your room. We gotta rip out the chimney now. We gotta rip out the wall in the chimney. And we're like, no, we live in here. There's no room for ripping out the chimney. And if you want to do work like that, you gotta put us up somewhere where we're not gonna breathe in dust. And we'll be out of the way of construction. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. The super is coming. So the super comes. Oh, we gotta work in your room today. Excuse me? No, where's the written notice and the date and time and our ability to reply and say we don't want this work done. If it's cosmetic work, you know, then there's no right to do it, you know. And so they say, oh, the supers, the landlord is coming. The, oh, good, the landlord. We'll finally get to meet the landlord. Oh, yes, says the super. His name is fucking whatever. He's a white guy. Don't worry. He's a nice guy. So this guy comes telling us he's the landlord, screaming at us, get out, I gotta work in there, I gotta rip out the blah, 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 blah. Uh, this guy I wouldn't trust uh, in my room. If I was sitting there with a gun next to me, I wouldn't trust this motherfucker. He's the evilest, most mean, scummy fuck I've met in a long time, and I wouldn't trust him. He's screaming at us. I don't give a fuck what you people do. That's your problem with him. You take him to court. I'm calling the fire department. I'm going to have you all thrown in the street right now. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like freaking out. Uh, I just was woken out of bed. In a cold sleep. You know, these people are insane, man. They don't give a fuck about us. And... You know, so now I find out later from Petra, that's not the landlord at all. That's just the guy who came to, to do the work that they hired. He's the, the guy who rips out the walls and shit. And he doesn't have any real authority to fucking yell at us and threaten us and... You know, everybody's a fucking liar. And what do we do? What do we do? We're quiet. We pay our rent. Every day, every month, on the first, to the penny, never late, never not enough, never sorry we don't have it. Oh, give me an extra week. No, never. Boom, right on time. Thanks to the the blessings of a saint who helps us. And they're trying to kill the saint too, by the way. Um, we don't bother them. We don't make trouble. Everything is a fucking complaint with them. Don't close the door this way. Don't leave the door open that way. They leave the kitchen at 200 degrees, the windows shut, and the water boiling and everything. But, like, you can't even get in that room, man. I go to the bathroom, like, once a week to stay out of their way. 
I, I sneak in there and, and take ice in the middle of the night and, and you know, we don't get to cook, we don't get to, it, it, it's not right. It's not right. And the whole time he's, he wants to get us out after three months we moved in. And we're like, we're sorry, we're not going to go. You just told us we could be here for a year. We just spent all this money. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what he said. A bunch of crap. And then finally, he says, oh, you want to stay? Okay, you can stay. These people are such shrewd, lying, money-grubbing. Ugh. Really, I, I, it's so difficult for me to accept these people and to love these people and to pray for these people. So here I am, you know, crying, uh, completely an emotional wreck because, you know, after three years of trauma, of intense, hardcore torture, Morgellons, electrocution, gang stalking, LSD, you name it, hardcore mind torture, I'm left uh, fractured, vulnerable, hurt. And it's not stopped. It's not like it's over and I'm able to heal. It's like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I got ringing in my head. I got people telling me, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, blah, 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 blah. You're a piece of shit. You're going to go to hell. Nobody loves you. Whatever the fuck they say. Uh, you know? And I shove it down. I try to accept it. But you know, it's strange. Human beings, it's like, if you want to be alive and you want to be emotional, you want to be loving and caring and kind and good and, and honest and true and forbearing and forthright and righteous and compassionate and loving. That's a tall order, man in the face of a program that wants to turn you into a fucking homicidal school killer, you know? Um, and, um, I don't know. This is embarrassing. No, I don't care anymore. I'm almost beyond embarrassment, you know? <laughs> like, you want to see me naked? Here. You want to watch me cry here? You want to watch me wipe my ass? No problem. This is the stuff that we get used to as targets, you know? People manipulating our genitals, remote control rape, mind trauma, inserted dreams, remote neural monitoring, artificial intelligence going blah, 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 blah to everything we think. People going blah, blah, blah to everything we think, you know? Fucking maser, microwave, satellite, scalar weapons burning fucking holes in our brains and making our skin discolored from burns and basically sucking the life out of us. You know, I'm 45, 6, 7, I don't even know how old I am anymore. I don't even know. Somewhere in there. But, uh... Got these permanent wrinkles. <laughs> Even a smile doesn't do it anymore. And I wonder to myself, you know, what kind of people, what what is going on in the world? How can how can we do this again? You know, we said never again. We lied. And I know I'm not the only one, you know. That's what makes it so hard. Because I know that so many good people are hurting and suffering. Alright, this is almost ten minutes. I have to turn it off. Thank you for listening to my tearful venting. I pray for you all. Please pray for us. God bless you. Thanks for listening.